wow, I cannot even remember the last time I put out a gaming video. I've got this Anno 1800 back uh, when it was on sale about a week or two ago now, and it's just uh, when there is more been really eye, addictive. So I figured I would you know. do a gameplay video of it. I was going to show a little bit of the map I had been doing, but I accidentally deleted it when I was thinking about making a new start. But this way, I will get a good important. new start going. We can kind of Make sure to uh, grow sure together. I try to put the series together in shorter intervals, but I ended up playing for two hours, so I'm going to chop this one into a bunch of pieces. And we'll go from there. Uh, it, it kind of stinks that I lost my other save. I had a lot of other islands at different regions of the world. The people want a uh, if you have supplies. played this game, Provide let me know it. down in the comments how far you've gotten uh, and how you deal with the multiple uh, supply chains. It started getting a little bit overwhelming when I got higher up in level, uh, but we'll go from there. Uh, at this stage, we are looking for a island to settle on. You want one that's got good resources. I was thinking about one certain island, and then I ended up picking another, and it was just right across the... You know, you could see each island from each other, so it'll work good for doing trade uh, between the two. Okay, let's see where we're at. One thing I did learn through the with the first playthrough was to kind of put things in s sections, like put your farms in one area, put your manufacturing you in one area. Because when I first time I played, I kind of grouped the stuff at different spots, and as you get farther along, you have to be thinking about these things for the future. Because I just had a big mess. I tried to set up my my zoo and my museums and I didn't really have any space like it, you got to really kind of think about these things uh, so this time around I'm making sure I'm putting like my here I've got my my log camps I want to kind of put them off to the side I'm going to keep my residential kind of area together and we'll see how it goes from here everything you've built so far consumed wood we'll be needing more of it to continue So we'll get our wood set up and get our log camps going and then we'll be back with you. For our first source of food we have to get a fishing uh, harbor set up so we get that put. We are running short on supplies right now. Uh, we've got very little wood. I do have two logging camps set up and one lumber mill. That's the other thing I did learn this time through is set up more you know, like for farms and stuff like that I would always I would only put like one farm in this playthrough uh, you work more on quantity because <laughs> you can always trade it if you have like surplus so that would be an extra income for you too the other feature that I didn't really take advantage of the first time I played was the being able to move the buildings it's an option when you start you can set it up to be able to move your buildings or have them permanently set uh, I like to have it to where I can move them uh, if you looked where my warehouse was at it was down by the market and I moved it up to get it closer to my logging camps because you have to be within a certain distance for them to uh, be noticed so they can move the supplies to the to the warehouse so you want to kind of localize these things to where they are able to be used by the most amount of buildings. Okay, as you can see, I moved my, this is my potato farm. I needed to make the schnapps. Uh, so I, I put it out on a road a little bit farther away from, from the town. So we have ability to expand. That's one thing you want to be able to think that, okay, I'm going to need more potato farms. I'm going to need, you know, wheat farms, and I'm going to need sheep and pigs and all these different things for the different uh, products that you need to advance 
your society. Like you need schnapps and you need work clothes. And you want to make sure you get a fire station pretty early, as soon as you can, because you will start having fires, and if you don't have one, I'm you have to build to it I didn't while you're possible. in the middle of a fire, and it just makes it worse. And then you're going to get your bar, too, because uh, that'll keep your people happy. Now that we've got the schnapp set up, we want to get the work clothes going, so we need our sheep farm. So we'll get that set up. I set it up on a different road, but having, as you can see, I have a warehouse set up right in the middle, and then I'm going to put these factories right at the center next to the warehouse, because then they will, the supply will come from the sheep farm. It'll go to the workshop, and then they'll bring the work clothes right to the warehouse, and then that can be supplied to your people in the community. And as you can see, I'm going to try to get our, our bar set up. And then you want to do some decorations around the bar once it is set up. I don't have the supplies for it right now, but you can always place it and then upgrade it when you get the supplies. Kind of gives you a, a, an idea of where things are going to be. It's just kind of like a placeholder. Okay, now we got this stuff built. You have prepared everything. Now is the time to advance by settling the first workers. Now to do this, we're going to upgrade some of the farming residents. And to do that, you need to have top supply of certain products to get their, their happiness and their ability to uh, upgrade. If you see that little, looks like an equal sign above a building, it's because it does not have road access. Let's take a look around a little bit. Uh, to get the clay pit to get bricks, we need to have our first workers. What the other thing that I did not like focus on very much upon the open sea. was doing missions around the board. So you want to try to do that because it gets you cash, so that you do because you will get depleted in cash pretty quick. So go around to these other settlements these other companies and they will offer you uh, different uh, missions to do. If you look down at the mini-map, you'll see little gold stars. That's what these going. are. And see, they'll offer I you like this one's $6,000. And then it'll give you over on the side here, it'll tell you what you need to do. So you Damn. grab your ship and send it to that location to either, you, you can transport, product you can give them product like uh, sometimes they'll ask for wood uh, sometimes once you get farther along they'll ask for escorts for like supply ships and stuff to kind of defend against pirates and those are some of the opportunities that they give you okay let's do our first upgrade a new milestone Now, to upgrade the next level, you need to make sure that they have the sausages and they need to have bricks and stuff like that. Well, well, the bricks are more for getting factories to give supplies that will help you with upgrading. I always appreciate your help, however overdue. Yeah, they'll make comments like that if you're a little bit late. Even quests. You're the example to us all. So now that mission I didn't really understand. It just you just went out and met their ship. They didn't take any product or you didn't take them anything or transport anything for them. Kinda of looking around the other islands and stuff just kinda of see what they offer here's also. Here's another when mission. Started, Let's see what you conjure up. And try to make sure you check what the mission is, because I've had like situations like this where they're asking for for lumber. I'll be almost to their <laughs> to the location and realize, oh, I was supposed to go back to my port and grab something, and then bring that to them. That's what this situation was. They wanted some product. Now, we've got our, our uh, 
clay pit. Now we want to make the, the brick factories. Uh, they're going to ask for two of them right off the bat, which is really a good idea because you use a lot of bricks. At this point, I don't have the resources. I need to get more more lumber. This is another building that's really good to have early is the trade union because it gives you upgrade abilities to for perks towards buildings that's in its ring of influence. You can see the little red circle around. That will be the, the influence area. It'll give you bonuses. Again, I don't have the product for it yet, but we have it there so we know exactly you know, where we want to have it as when we do get the product. And as you can see, I'm trying to keep the residents in the same areas. Now we do have the upgrade for our, um, our bricks. We do need a second one though, as you'll see, she's telling us that we, we need a second brick factory. It's all prepared. And this is kind of neat, you get the, the newspaper. Uh, and that if it's something unfavorable, you can edit it actually in and throw something in there. Because I have, it. in the past, uh, the past playthrough, I left journalism. them put the negative stuff in there. But then I had problems throughout the whole settlement the where they were unhappy because they were there was stuff in the paper about pirate attacks and stuff. I, I, so the, the people weren't happy. So I, I want to give them something to kind of distract their attention away from the bad news. We don't want them focusing on that, we want them focusing on working. Yeah, we have to pick up the, the ten Flash timbers your for service. The, or lumber for taking out to that other guy's ship over here. Well then it'll get us some cash. Which for ten uh ten lumber shortage. Six thousand nine hundred dollars, that's not bad. <laughs> That's more this day's Help prices. You you, and you'll see Just on the map, sometimes you'll see these stars. That's uh, crowds of people, and they'll sometimes they'll give you stuff. Sometimes they'll ask, you know, to do quests for them around the community. I have discovered some inefficiencies we ought to address. They yeah, like this screwdriver. That's for for your trade union. So we want that to go in there, but right now, as you can see, we don't have the supplies to to set it up yet. Here, one of our logging camps ran out of space to move its logs, so instead of setting up another warehouse right there, I'm setting up another uh, lumber yard to cut timber to cut uh, timber from it. So we'll have more two by fours and not just be sitting on the logs. And then they'll move. Well, I guess we are still needing a warehouse closer by. So what I'm gonna do is take and do that move feature I was telling about earlier, and we'll move it closer. And that'll open up this space for more things that will be more community related, uh, like this. We need our fire station. So let's get that set up. It's fairly early. We want to get that set up though because there's chance of fire pretty much all the time. So like I was saying earlier, we want to have that so we're not scrambling to put one in when there's a fire spreading between the buildings. Still haven't been able to set up our trade union because we don't have the product yet. But we should be getting pretty close to having enough. Let's see what we got here. I wish to find a new kingdom here. There we got it set up. I was giving them permission to settle on all these islands the last time I played, but it just gave them so Green, many islands. Wide, blue horizons, a little hit against within. my credibility with them is worth it to not have them with a you ton of islands. Kind. This playthrough I'm going to try to get as many islands as possible. Once I'm making enough iron and enough lumber to be able to go out and settle these islands, I'm at least going to get trading set up on them 
so I have the ability to start producing so I can have one island for for say for potatoes and another island for uh, wheat and one for iron and wood. you know I want to have all these different products coming out of these areas it'll make it a whole lot easier for setting up trade routes when you have a, multiple ships they'll have things that different uh, thing where you're supposed to look around the island and find like bear and stuff like that which is this one we've got bear and wolf it's kind of hard to see but if you look at the mini map you'll see there's gold stars around the map and that kind of tells you a little bit of where they're at. I did have kind of a hard time uh, locating them this first time around, but eventually I do find them. Now let's see where are they. They'll be lit up a little bit more than the others, so kind of look around. And I always get turned around on the map, mini map too. I'll be moving, think I'm moving north, but I'm actually going south because the way I've got my camera oriented. Uh, let's see, there's one. Okay. You really gotta look closely. And they're usually right around in the mountains here. There we go, we got a couple of them there. I think of. We got a wolf and a bear. So now I just need one more black bear. There it is. Nice. Upon my stars, okay. I never and that got us nine thousand six hundred eighty dollars, and plus five for credibility, basically for with the company. Okay, we've got now this is that trade unit. Now we can set and that drill up in there, and it's going to give yourself. us a, give us a little bit of a bonus. Okay, well, I think I'm going to end the video here, and we'll go from here. I get a lot farther. I have farms and stuff like that. I played for two hours, uh, but I want to keep these a little bit shorter. So in the next episode, we're going to keep expanding. We get our farm set up. We get our iron set up and kind of decorate the community a little bit more. Uh, do a lot more missions. And then eventually we'll continue expanding through the different uh, islands and going on missions and stuff. So I hope you're looking forward to the series. Hope you have a great rest of your day. And I will talk to you in the comments.